What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and we're continuing on with the world's quickest free online Revit 2019 course. But before we get into it, of course, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file that I'm building in these series, as soon as I'm done with the course, it will be uploaded on my Patreon. Again, first link in the description. Okay, with that out of the way, let's continue on modeling. So this is where we last left off in part seven. Now we're continuing in part eight. So as you can see, we've got our room legend, but these rooms, eh, they look kind of boring without any furniture in them. So uh, let's just add some furniture. So for that, uh, what you need to do is you need to go here to component and see what you get. So as you can see over here with components, we've got a desk which I don't, I'm not really sure we really need. Then if we scroll down a bit, yeah, we don't really have anything uh, that we would like to use. Okay, I don't like this desk. Okay, so let's load in some uh, furniture families that we can actually use. So for that, you can either you go to component and then load family, or uh, another option is to go to insert and then again, a load family. So I'm going to go like that and uh, it opens up your Revit uh, library and uh, let's scroll down and find some furniture. Uh, let's go with seating and here we've got this uh, Corbu chair and also we've got a Corbu sofa. So I'm just going to hold the control and select both the chair and the sofa and open them up. Okay, now I'm going to go back to architecture, go to component or CM is the shortcut for component. And as you can see, now I can place uh, this sofa over here. Uh, now, as you can see, if I hover over here, uh, it highlights the level on which it will be placed, this little floor, uh, floor. And if I hit the space key, as you can see, I can rotate it around. So that's something quite useful. So just hit the space key and it kind of rotates around. So let's place a sofa, I don't know, maybe place it like this and let's add a couple of chairs so we'll just open up this drop menu and find a uh, corbu chair let's see okay here it is chair corbu and again just the space key a couple of times to rotate it around and let's place it like this perhaps okay let's select these two so just hold the control select them and then i'm just going to be using the arrow keys to kind of move them out of the way and move them in place. Let's say this This is what I'm comfortable with. Okay, now let's add a little coffee table over here because of course you need somewhere to place your drinks. So for that, let's go uh, to component and let's load family from here now. So just go load family and let's go back a folder and as you can see uh, Revit, at least in the versions 2019, uh, it will remember the last place you searched for loading any families. So that's quite useful. So let's go back a bit, uh, find table and let's see we've got this coffee table so maybe we can use that one and uh, just hit ok open and we can place it maybe over here now if i go to the modify uh, tool uh, i can select this coffee table and then i can open up the drop menu and as you can see we've got three dimensions so th these are basically three types of this family we've got this basic small one we've got a bit of a bigger one and then we've got the largest version and uh, now for the largest version it it's a bit taller or no it's actually a bit shorter uh, so you can maybe place it like this over here and of course i always like to double check by going to, into the 3d view orbiting around zooming in and yeah and uh, to orbit around actually what you want to orbit around you can select that table and then just go around and maybe we can change it to a smaller one just to see what that looks like okay this looks really ugly so let's go back to yeah, let's go back to this one. But actually, I, I find this to be a bit too high. I like those really low uh, coffee tables. So how can you adjust this family to make it a bit lower? So what you can do, you can go here into edit type and then in the uh, type properties, you can actually change uh, the family. So let's just hit here duplicate and let's just change this from 457 to 357 uh, uh, for the height and let's delete this number two that automatically appears hit OK and then do the same thing here for the height just change this to three just to make it a bit lower hit OK and as you can see it kind of dropped down so we've got this lower coffee table and I think it looks uh, I guess looks a lot better okay so once we've done uh, this little living room of ours let's uh, let's add something in the bathroom we need to add those plumbing fixtures so let's go back to lower level and here's our water closet and uh, let's add all of the those elements 
So for that, again, you can go to component or you can go to insert, load family, and uh, let's drop back a few folders. And here in the US metric, of course, you can use US Imperial if you're using Imperial units. But let's just scroll down a bit and uh, let's see what else we have. So here I've got plumbing and I'm just going to double click to open that up. Then we've got this architecture folder and then we've got equipment, but that's not something you need, but we've got fixtures. Okay, so we've got a water closet over here. So let's go with this. We've got this one. Okay, this looks more, I guess, domestic. So let's open that one up. And let's uh, let's insert all of the families now, and then we're going to uh, come back later and place them in the file. So let's just go load family again, drop back a folder. Let's add maybe a shower. Okay, this is just a simple 2D shower, but it works for us. So open that up. Then I go again, load family, drop back a folder. Uh, do we have some sinks? Do we have some 3D sinks? No, unfortunately not. So yeah, let's use something like this one. Yeah, I like this one. So open that one up, uh, go load family again. Do we need anything else? Well, I guess this works uh, for, for now. So uh, let's just uh, hit cancel and now go back to architecture and go to component. Here's our sink. So as you can see, uh, if you go and hover over any floors, uh, you won't be able to place it. But if you come near the wall, you can actually place this because this is a uh, wall-based family. Some families will be wall-based, some will be floor-based, some will be just generic and you can place them wherever you want. So let's just place it, I don't know, over here or maybe over here, yeah. And uh, let's open up the drop menu. Uh, let's see what else we have. We've got a shower. So let's add a shower like that in this corner and let's scroll down a bit. Uh, where's our toilet? Okay, here's the toilet. And again, as you can see, it highlights when you come near the wall so you can kind of place it there on the wall. Okay, so we've got our bathroom set and we've got our living room set. So basically that's how you add furniture. Of course, you can add something for the living room if you want or something like that. But let's say this is enough for, for now for furniture. Now, uh, we've got our floor plans over here. So we've got our foundation, we've got lower level, entry level, we've got our roof and uh, here we've got some elevations, east, north, uh, south, west. But we don't have any sections, as you can see here, uh, where if I scroll a bit, uh, we don't have any options for sections over here. So how do you create sections in Revit? Well, for that, you need to be uh, in uh, either a uh, an elevation or a floor plan. I prefer to do sections in floor plans. So let's go here to lower level. And usually uh, when you're creating a section, it's uh, good to have one going through the staircase. So let's create a, a section going through the staircase of this house. So for that, uh, just go here to section. Uh, so it's up here on your quick access toolbar, or you can go to view and search for it here. So, and there's no shortcut for sections, unfortunately. So you go like this, you click once and then you pull it out and then you click the second time and here's your section. And as you can see, uh, your section will have this little uh, dashed blue line. That's basically how much it's uh, covering. And as you can see, it's looking at the wrong side. I wanted to look at this side so I can see my furniture. So you can just flip it around by using this flip section. And then you need to extend this so this will encompass a bit more. And now, how do you view this section? Well, you need to open it up. And to do that, you need to double click here on this section head. And there you go, you've opened up your section in Revit. And of course, you can select this uh, outer view and kind of play around with it. So basically this, uh, moving this thing around is the same thing as moving this thing around. So that's basically what we're doing. Uh, so, and now if you scroll down over here, here you've got your sections. And if you click on here, here we've got section one. Now, of course you can uh, rename this. So you can uh, right click, go rename, and then let's call this section uh, stair. Okay, and now you can just double click over here and open that up as well. Uh, here you can uh, change maybe the scale, but I'm happy with one to 100. I can change this to fine. Uh, and as you can see, when you change it to fine, we can see these fine details uh, when it was on course. It looks like this, so it's very basic. And then if we go to fine, as you can see, we've got some more elements. So it's usually good to set this on fine if you want to have kind of a detailed view. And here we can see our staircase and everything else.
Okay, that wraps up uh, this tutorial and in the in the next one and probably it will be the last one I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to add a, a schedule to your project and also how to prepare all of the graphics and everything so you can take this to the printer and then you can finalize your project. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this video, this part 8. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you want to download this project file, it will be up on Patreon as soon as I'm finished with the whole series. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.